at the moment we've just had a rather wet spell. We've had a quite a quite a long dry spell as you be aware during the summer. And that has affected a bit of our, our, our farming activities. The sheep at the moment are actually lambing a bit late. We've only just started. We've only got about eight lambs so far and quite a few more still to go. But what that has done is, is stop the ewes from ovulating and the lambs aren't as fertile when the weather's weather like it was back in the summer. And so uh, we're, we're actually lambing quite late this year. But fingers crossed if the weather improves, the lambs will get on and we'll juice the, get the ewes out, get them on the fields. The grass is now starting to grow. I finished muck spreading probably about two, three weeks ago now before this rain started. And that's disappearing now into the ground, so it's making the grass grow. Not buying what we call artificial fertilizer this year. I used to put a lot on, um, basically a nitrogen-based fertilizer to make the grass grow. But with the price as they are at the moment, gone up 264% this year. So we're going to rely more on these animals now to produce the, the muck for us. And we're putting those on the field. So we're going back to even a more traditional way of farming in that sense. We've actually gone and brought in a, a Charolais bull, continental bull. They produce a much bigger calf, a faster growing calf. So my idea is behind that is that we're going to have a calf that grows a lot, lot quicker. It's what the butchers want. They want a much larger frame. Yeah. So just recently, in the, in the last couple of weeks, we TB tested. Always a very nervous time. And uh, we got it all clear, which is fantastic news. But it, it gives me three or four days of a bit of worry, really. At the same time, we had three cows that didn't calve. And so the vet did what we call PD, pregnancy detecting. And he had to check inside the cows to see what's going on. And fortunately, those three aren't going to have calves this year. I'll give them a chance. They'll go back to the bull again. And uh, we'll see what happens this time next year, whether they, they have a calf or not. No reason why they shouldn't. I think maybe they just got missed out, perhaps, with the bull. It's got a lot to work to do, actually, this time of year. If you'll notice, all the cattle have got these green tags with a V on them. That means what it is, I've paid my fees to the verderers, almost like the magistrates that employ what we call the adster, for that year. So we've all paid our market fees on the commons, which is about six pound a cow. We normally have around about sort of between 30 to 50 calves. Some of the calves, normally around about half, would then be sold as what we call stores, which are cattle probably similar size to these behind me. And they'll go off to other, other farmers to then rear on, bring on, produce the beef. And then I'll pick out probably around about six to eight of the best. And I'll keep those back for myself. And then they'll go on back into the herd and carry on the, uh, the herd for future generations. 